morning, good evening, and good afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you once again with a little something about islands. Islands is one of my favorite games, if you haven't noticed. I love to play it quite a bit, um, and I've been playing it for a couple of years. It's probably my longest running game since <laughs> City of Heroes, to be honest. Although Lord of the Rings was quite a long play for me. I have to admit. Um, but anyway, they've done a couple of uh, developer diaries in the last uh, few weeks or so, I think, that I just wanted to go over because I like what I'm seeing in them. So let's go back to Dev Diary number 115 first. This was posted on the 13th of February, and in this one they're talking about a bunch of cool new compositions that they are going to be putting out with release 1.2. Now, I don't know when 1.2 will be coming out. I have no idea what the frequency of their releases will be, but I'm kind of, I'm waiting for 1.2, and then I'm going to be starting a new world because it's adding a lot of great things. At, well, and I'm quoting here, great things, um, because they want to give people more options for developing uh, their compositions and their own games for the gallery, uh, which is great, or the workshop. I got to call it the workshop. Sims, it's the gallery. Islands, it's the workshop. I, I, oh gosh, it's going to take me a while to get that right, isn't it? So basically, they want people to be able to create RPG games, um, and then they're so they're adding all these new building options. And look at these, this kind of broken tower to tower with this rickety wooden bridge. I love this. This is really good. Now, you can use them when you're making something for the workshop, but you could also encounter them in the game. So we're going to have a whole bunch of new encounters for exploration maps with new dangers and new loot to enjoy. <laughs> so I, I'm going to have fun with the encounter string of videos that I want to do. I've done one. I know I need to do more and I will be, but I'm, I'm kind of in a mini holding pattern waiting for one, two to release. Um, so now let's take a look at dev diary number 117, which just came out last week on Thursday. This one talks about some new creatures that are coming out with 1-2. Golems are making an appearance. Isn't that fun? Now we have those large rock statues that are out there that I've never known what to call them. And so I think of them as rock, as, as golems or just stone stat. I don't know. Uh, but maybe, maybe those are the golem god statues for these guys. I don't know. But these are golems, and they protect loot and, and can be used in all kinds of interesting ways in, again, your workshop creations. But they're also going to be used in the random encounters of the game. <laughs> and in addition, look at this guy right here. Uh, a wendigo and a goat man. Ah! Oh! It sounds like it's getting more dangerous. All right. These monsters behave uniquely in that they prepare and then charge ferociously toward their prey. They usually hunt in packs. <laughs> but even a single Wendigo can ruin a player's day. I, I, I believe that. I believe that. I do. <laughs> totally do. But uh, another interesting thing, though, is if you look in these... Like, you can see this is all sandstone. That's a block that exists. All these blocks exist in the game now. But I'm looking down here, and I'm looking at these pieces here. These random shaped pieces. And this background piece here. Do those already exist in the game? That circle up there, does that exist in the game? Or is somebody just reassembled game pieces in a new and unique way? I think there's a little of both going on, because this symbol right here, I don't remember seeing before. Hmm, new stuff in the game. Oh, and look at this staff. That's cool. I don't remember that staff. <laughs> So, uh, also, elves are coming to the game. And again, you see those mystery symbols in the background. New armors, uh, as well as the elven look. And they point out that with some innovative coloring, you can make dark elves or vampires using the basic look. So again, stuff to use in the workshop, stuff to encounter in the game. 
And look at this in general. I like this building. That does look like a new door. And these are probably just gold nuggets all along here to give that a different look. They used those medieval windows over these bricks to get that look. Those windows look like they've been recolored to a good effect. This, I'm trying to figure out what this is. It looks like it's all glass, but it's all on a tilt. So it stands corner to corner, not side to side. And then these lines here, I don't know what they're made with, but I like the effect. And then you have these greens sticking out. I want to see this building. I want this to be an encounter. Um, so again, all of this can be seen in a random encounter in the new in the exploration map. So once all this releases, once two one two releases, you can make a new world, and all this happens. I mean, obviously, you don't get all of it in every map, but this happens. Also, the crystal golem may randomly appear in caves. Uh, it looks like all of these can be infected. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I can tell. Okay. All right. Anyway, so this is all good stuff. Now, if you want to look at the video release for these, you can uh, find them and the posts all linked in my Discord if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to go over those bits of news for those of you who, um, who are not aware, did not know, then now you know, because this, I mean, this is going to be cool. I am really looking forward to this. I appreciate a game that updates itself regularly enough to keep my interest. And that is honestly one of the reasons that um, I have stuck with Islands for so long. Two years. Oh my. All right, folks, that's it for this video. This is Little Daffodil thanking you as always, and I'll see you in the next one.